what makes the perfect character is authenticity. Um, all authors I know have notebooks and I think it helps for me being a journalist, kind of you're an observer of people and you're like a sponge and everything goes in and you just look at how people react to situations and again it all goes back to authenticity. Um, you know people say how do you write books, what's important to you to write books and travel for instance is really important to me. A lot of my books are based in far-flung locations and I actually go to most of those locations and people go why? You know, why can't you go on Google Maps and again it's that authenticity so whether it's characters whether it's location just write it's, it's back to that old adage of, of write what you know um, because when it comes from the heart when it comes from a real place even if it can sometimes sound a little bit far-fetched you're going to get a better book more fleshed out characters. I think for me the perfect character is, is somebody that you can really connect with and it, it's absolutely important. You don't necessarily have to like your character but you have to connect with them, you have to kind of feel, um, you, you kind of understand where they're coming from um, but the, the, I think the, the characters that you you really identify with are, are the ones that you kind of feel they're a little bit like you and they're speaking for you and you can kind of see a little bit of yourself in them. And so your, your characters do need it to be a little bit of an every person. Um, but at the same time, they, they also need to, you need to feel, it, it's definitely about connection. You feel, you know, so when, when I do my characters, I want to feel like I'm, I'm rooting for them. Like, if they don't get what they need, then the world is wrong. That's how I feel. I think ideas are everywhere. Life's just so rich in material and sometimes I feel as if being a writer is just like being a great big radar that's permanently switched on. So um, snatches of conversations that I overhear, uh, dreams, tangents that my thoughts go off at when I'm reading another book or watching a film. Just ideas everywhere really. Um, too many to write down. So when I find one that gives me a bit of a tingly feeling, then I scribble it down and I just follow where it takes me. So I don't tend to plan out plots too much. I just follow that initial impulse and see where I end up. The perfect character, I think, to be honest, doesn't have to be perfect in their character because you would not like them. They have to have flaws, idiosyncrasies. They have to have annoying habits because that makes them more real but at the end of the day, they've got to be likeable. It's got to be somebody that you care about and somebody that you root for.